Today we are learning how to throw off the hump using the potter's wheel. If you're looking for easier centering and faster production, you better get ready. Today I'm using 12 and a half pounds of a porcelainous stoneware. It's one sleeve if you get your clay in boxes from a manufacturer. Once it's patted down, I do a little bit of centering, maybe coning up once or twice just so it sticks to the wheel. This is the hump that we're going to throw pieces off of. Now you take a top portion of that hump and you start to cone up and cone down. You'll find it's much easier to center that bottom inch that you might be struggling with. This is the same process as basic wheel throwing. One risk you take while throwing off the hump is pushing down past the bottom. Be careful to leave enough room for trimming. If you'd like a more in-depth tutorial on wheel throwing, I've already made one and I will link it in the description section below. Using a wooden knife, cut in about an inch at the bottom of your piece. Next, take a wire tool and carefully cut as level as you can. Use four fingers to pick your piece up and put it on a board next to you. It's time for piece number two. Take the top portion of the hump and cone up and down until it's centered. Now some people will throw off the hump with a taller, skinnier cone, but that changes the throwing height too much for me, so I prefer a shorter dome. Here I'm using what are called calipers to measure the diameter of the piece that I'm making. This allows me to make better measurements and make more similar work. The piece I'm throwing here needs to be a little bit wider to match the other one, so I make a small change. Make a cut and grab your wire tool. I dip it in water to make sure the clay releases. If I'm having a really rough day, I'll add some water like this. Sometimes it can be tougher to cone up near the bottom of your hump. If there's ever a hole when you cone up, you can pinch off the top portion to remove any air you may have trapped. Maybe you're starting to realize just how fast you can make work when you're throwing off the hump. It's always a good idea to compare sizes after you've thrown them. I see here that the last one I threw is a little bigger than the rest. But Jim, what do we do about all those dents? Those you'll remove when you trim the work later on. 